Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I just thought I'd make a quick video on the tier four update of what I've called tier four training. Um, a lot of people I've seen at the shooting ground today are like, oh, we've got no competitions to shoot. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, my opinion on that as a, as a coach is that this is great news um, in one sense. Of course, we love to be competing, but for years and years and years, I've tried to get my students to actually take the winter off from competing and become a training month as most athletes would do. Um, but that law of competition always takes over and they just want to nip here. So January now has been removed in the UK from competition uh, of any nature. So, you know, what we have officially is four weekends, maximum, minimum, nobody knows where shooting grounds are still available. And we should be able to come out of January far better than we went into it for the simple reason that there is no competition. So let's call it tier four training, okay? So we've got four weekends where you can still shoot. So that's 400 cartridges if you were gonna shoot competitions. Now, if there wasn't any, uh, if there was competitions, what would you do? You'd go out, you'd shoot four shoots, you wouldn't try anything new because you're competing, you're trying to manage the scorecard. So we'd enter, Jan we'd enter February exactly the same way as which we entered January. We haven't grown as a competitor, we've just shot more targets, which may help us down the line. So what options do we have now? Um, I've been to Garland's today, and he's still got a full 100 target course set up. So with students, I was able to now enter a training system. So we only have to shoot the A bird. If we're comfortable with the B bird, we'd have to waste our budget on targets that we're good at. But we can also change things up a little bit. I can say, right, how did you shoot this on Sunday? We're now going to shoot it with a different method. We're going to enforce something new. So we're going to, we should be, I'm so happy for my students that they can come out of this substantially better competitors than what they entered. So we can practice new methods and without any pressure of a scorecard. We can turn the pair around. We can have B, A, and can we locate our whole point on the second bird as good as we can the other way around. We can try different kill points. We can try gun down when we've always shot mounted. We can now lower the gun and try and maximize the fluidity of our mount. That's gonna come out of January a substantially better shooter. We don't have to do this on Sundays. We're not limited to Sundays. We can up our amount if our budget allows. But it, if you listen to this advice and go and train, don't go and mess around with your mates. That's gonna make you even worse. We want structured tier four training. You and one other maximum where we're buttoning for each other and we are going with a specific goal. Over the four weeks, what would my goals be or what goals would I have for students? So my goals will be different, but I would expect them to try targets with different methods. So they're not just reliant on the one of default, which is what happens when we go to a tournament, we do default. Regardless of what we learned, we go to default. So changing methods on targets, learn to be comfortable with different methods. Changing your mounts, understanding your mounts, try which targets we can shoot gun down and which targets we are going to shoot um, with the gun pre-shoulders. We can then also try kill points, making sure our kill points are good. Are we tendency to hang on things because we get nervous in a comp? Well, today we're gonna to take them where we see them biggest and clearest. And then the fourth weekend, we could actually learn to unify those three things and have a competition with our friends with our other partner that we're allowed to shoot with from one household and see if we can then enforce tier four training into our competitive mode. A lot of people that are not my students watch some of these videos and, and they don't know whether to accept it or not because they're gonna upset the coach that they're working with. I would tell you that any coach in the world will agree with me. This is an opportunity of winter training. Look at any other sport where they enter a training month. It happens everywhere. We don't, we're looking at an outdoor sport. We can compete, 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 but competitiveness can get in the way of training. There's got to be a time and a place where you actually do work-ons and become better at something. And now it's enforced by the government. So please take this advice on board. If you want any help, drop me a message and I will tell you on what you should be working on. 
But trust me, tier four training is not the end of the world. You know, if you actually treat it with respect, stick to the guidelines so the shooting grounds stay open. Come February, when we can get out again, hopefully, you will be substantially better if you stick to these guidelines. So I hope this helps some people. It's just my take on it. But as I said, any coach will tell you you need to train. Follow, you know, subscribe to this if you're on YouTube. Follow me if you're on Instagram. I'll keep dropping these during this next lockdown. But this is, um, for me, is very sound advice. Tier four training, keep me updated on how you're getting on. Stay safe, have a great new year, and we'll see you all out there soon.